Welcome back, viewers. Today, we're diving into the heart of geopolitical tensions in the South China Sea. The US and the Philippines have joined forces, and with Australia in the mix, they're making bold moves in front of China's island base. In recent developments, the South China Sea has become a hotspot for geopolitical maneuvering. The United States and the Philippines, backed by Australia, are conducting joint patrols challenging China's assertive island base in the region. This vast expanse is not just a body of water. It's a region fraught with territorial disputes, and China's island-building activities have raised concerns among neighboring nations. The United States and the Philippines, long-standing allies, are teaming up to assert their presence in the South China Sea. This partnership sends a clear message challenging China's attempts to dominate the strategic waterway. The Philippines concluded a series of joint maritime and aerial patrols with Australia in the South China Sea today, and plans to hold more patrols in the future with the US and other allies, according to officials. Manila and Canberra kicked off their inaugural maritime cooperative activity. A combined total of three warships and six aircraft from the armed forces of the Philippines and the Australian Defence Force were involved in joint patrols on the sea and in the air within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, EEZ, in the South China Sea, which Manila calls the West Philippine Sea. Philippine President Bong Bong Marcos stated that the joint patrols were a practical manifestation of the growing and deepening strategic and defence partnership with Australia, referring to Canberra as a strategic partner in his announcement of the patrols on Saturday. This highlights our shared commitment to supporting the rules-based international order and a more peaceful, secure, and stable Indo-Pacific region, Marcos said. Philippine Secretary of National Defense Gilberto Teodoro and Australian Minister for Defense Richard Marles highlighted how the joint patrols were a practical implementation of the Philippine-Australian strategic partnership that was declared during Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese's visit to Manila in September. Both Teodoro and Marles reaffirmed their country's commitment to the United Nations Convention on the Laws of the Seas, as well as their support for the 2016 Arbitral Award, which invalidated many of China's claims to the South China Sea. The Australian joint patrols come after the first joint patrols between the Philippines and the US last week. Literal combat ship U.S. Gabriel Giffords, replenishment oiler USNS John Erickson, and a P-8A Poseidon held a series of patrols with Corvette BRP Conrado Yap, offshore patrol vessel VRP Gregorio del Pilar, and Philippine Navy flagship the frigate BRP Poza Rizal in the West Philippine Sea. Pacific Air Force's F-15Cs also conducted a joint aerial patrol with Philippine Air Force F-A-50PH in the Luzon Strait between the Philippines and Taiwan. While no incidents occurred, the Philippine military reported that Chinese warships and aircraft shadowed the joint patrols. Chinese fighter jets circled Philippine aircraft during their joint patrol with the Royal Australian Air Force near Hubo Reef over the weekend. AFP Chief of Staff Gen Romeo Bronner specified that the Chinese fighter jets only shadowed Philippine aircraft, not Australian. A Chinese frigate and maritime patrol aircraft also shadowed Philippine and U.S. ships during last week's joint patrol. China has condemned the Philippine-U.S. joint patrols with a People's Liberation Army's Southern Theater Command press release claiming that the Philippines is colluding with the external force to stir up troubles in the South China Sea. The press release also states that the joint patrols violate the spirit of the Declaration on the Conduct of Parties in the South China Sea. Teodoro blasted these claims with a rebuke against China. Who is the one occupying? Who is the one encroaching in the South China Sea? In the West Philippine Sea, it is China. The Philippines is not stirring up trouble. This is a reverse of the truth. It's an absolute falsity for China to say that, and it is once again reversing the truth consistent with its narrative, Teodoro said. Teodoro further added that there are plans for several iterations of joint patrols with the US 
and that the Philippines has the right to patrol anywhere whether in the high seas or in the area where it has jurisdiction pursuant to international law. The U.S. and the Philippines have started joint air and sea patrols in the South China Sea, the latest step in the two allies' efforts to strengthen military cooperation amid growing tension with Beijing in the disputed waters. This significant initiative is a testament to our commitment to bolster the interoperability of our military forces, Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. wrote in a post on social media site X on Tuesday announcing the joint patrol, the first conducted with the U.S. in seven years. The move comes as Manila and Beijing are embroiled in an increasingly heated standoff over the Philippine military's regular resupply missions to its outpost on 2nd Thomas Shoal, a sandbank in the South China Sea that is also claimed by China. Beijing's attempts to disrupt the resupply missions prompted a warning from U.S. President Joe Biden last month that any attack on Filipino aircraft, vessels or armed forces would invoke Washington's mutual defense treaty with the Philippines. The Joint Patrol, which will run until Thursday, will test efforts agreed less than a week ago by Biden and Chinese leader Xi Jinping to stabilize U.S.-China relations and resume bilateral military communications. Beijing has also stepped up military maneuvers in the Bashi Channel and other areas around Taiwan, which it claims is part of its territory too. The Chinese military has repeatedly accused Washington of disrupting regional peace and stability with its military presence and demanded the U.S. military stop patrols in waters and airspace close to its coasts and other territory it claims. The U.S. Navy's Japan-based 7th Fleet said its forces routinely operated with allies and partners in defense of the rules-based international order. We look forward to the opportunity to join with our Philippine allies for this maritime cooperative activity, the fleet said. But here's the twist Australia, known for its strategic alliances, is actively participating in these joint patrols. What does this mean for the dynamics in the region? Stay with us as we explore Australia's role in countering China's influence. China's island base in the South China Sea has been a focal point of international concern. The militarization of these artificial islands has raised alarms globally. Now, with joint patrols at their doorstep, how will China respond? Let's discuss the implications of these joint patrols. How might this impact the geopolitical landscape? Are we on the brink of a new Cold War? Our experts weigh in on the potential scenarios that could unfold in the South China Sea. That wraps up our exploration of the U.S.-Philippines joint patrols with Australia in the South China Sea. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more in-depth analyses on global affairs. Until next time.